Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here at uh, Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin, bringing you episode number seven of Three Beers and Whiskey, featuring an interview with the Soapboxers. Here's beer number one. All right. Hey everybody, uh, Will here at Tom Cruise Studios, uh, live music in Austin. Tonight, another episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey. We have with us the Soapboxers. So, very special episode because... Man, this is a lot of people in the house. So, um, anyway, y'all can clap. Y'all can clap. We got people in here also. Um, and uh, a special thank you and shout out to uh, some friends of mine I met South by Southwest uh, about a year or so ago. Um, the Revenge Wedding, their album Dead Art. Uh, check them out. But uh, that was music from The Revenge Wedding. So, you were asking about it earlier, all right. so, all right. Um, and I guess we've got beers coming in, so you can hear them all cracking. Ooh. So, uh, while we're letting uh, the beers come down this way, go ahead, if you guys want to introduce yourselves. We have Start. What's up, guys? I'm Jamie Murray. I play bass in the Soapboxers. Hi, I'm Lane Higgins. I play guitar in the Soapboxers. My name is Jeff Norby. I uh, play keys and sing in the Soapboxers. My name is Kit Nelson. I'm also in the Soapboxers, and I do guitar and some singing. My name is Wes Armstrong, and I play drums, and I sing in the Soapboxers. And I'm Will Tompkins. I'm not in the Soapboxers. So uh, thank you guys very much. I appreciate you coming out on uh, probably one of the first nice chilly nights of the year uh, we've had here in Austin. So um, we'll just jump right into it. Uh, what's, what's going on with the band right now? Uh, you just put out, how long ago was the album? Uh, the album came out March 3rd this year. Okay, so it's, it's, well, fresh. You know, working on new music. Mm -hmm. We're actually going into the studio at the beginning of December to yeah. start working on an EP. Yes. So all the music's written, ready to go. Hey, see, this is awesome. Like, oh, sorry. Don't bring it on, bring it on, man. There we go. Selfish much? Um, I, uh, I was trolling y'all uh, on, on uh, Facebook and saw the link and jumped over to, there's a Tom Petty song that y'all do. Oh, yeah. Dude, that was amazing. I, I didn't expect that um, because, actually, I haven't seen Kit with you guys live yet. I've seen you guys perform, I don't know, and brand for new. a while. Yeah, she's she's yeah, the yeah. new addition. So how long have you been with the band? Uh, I think like three months, right? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Wow, okay, so really. Yeah, so three months, already got the video racking up hits over there on, um, on YouTube for uh, that Tom Petty cover. That was, how did is that something you've done before, or did it because Kit was in the band, you all decided to do that? No, we actually first did that with Jamie Harris uh, when we did our CD release show. Okay. Jamie Harris was kind enough to to join on for that live show. Cool. So, and she also sings on the album. Ah, oh, okay. All right. Cheers, by the way, guys. Oh, yeah. Cheers. 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 I get a call from Don and, hey, I need to do a photo shoot. I've got this band and we need a big empty space. And he just was freaking out. And I'm like, just come over to the house. He's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, my garage. There's nothing in the garage. The wall's just like bare. Um, and so it was like a ridiculous early Saturday morning, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I got up really early and made pancakes and bacon. And I've never brewed that much coffee Forever, because <laughs> um, y'all were hurting, huh? Oh uh, yeah, we were. Yeah. Yeah. So hey, yeah, yeah, I just shot, you know, and then I mean, it was all in the garage, all the lights and everything, and I'm like, wow, okay. So you guys did a photo shoot for the Moonshiners in there. How long did the Moonshiners project last? Uh, it was just like a year and a half. Hey, that's that's longer than some other projects people think of and don't even come to fruition. So, yeah. um, and you guys familiar with the Moonshine? I play the Moonshine show. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Wes was in that band. <laughs> yeah, because Miles, who is now with Cody Ryan band, was the original bass player in that, mm -hmm. or at least he was in the photo shoot. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, Kaczynski also. Yep. Yeah. Casey Kaczynski and uh, I think. 
Ryan Parker was Ooh. the original drummer. Okay, yeah. And then we had Casey Conway playing drums for a while. Conway. Okay, there's, yeah. Casey's doing his thing now. Uh-huh. Um, and then from there, what happened uh, after Moonshiners? Did you, I, there was a project in between Moonshiners and Soapboxers. Was there or no? Uh, so we were kind of playing with the Moonshiners and Tennessee Stiffs for a little bit, and then the Moonshiners yeah. kind of yeah. fell apart, and that's kind of how the Soapboxers came to be with us. Okay. The death of the moonshiners. <laughs> All right, the name soapboxer. So I mean, I, I know what a soapbox is, and you get on your soapbox. Mm -hmm. But is there another uh, name, reason, something else behind soapboxers, or how did that come up? Uh, it's just the the stage is a soapbox, and so ah, uh, okay. See, I never thought about it like that. As much as I've been like hanging around, creeping in the bars and taking photos, I never actually thought about that, but yeah, that is your pulpit. That's it's a catchy name though, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's really cool. Yeah. Um, and so the current lineup is three months old, I guess. Pretty much. Yeah, okay. Right. Yeah. Um, and Wes, you met, you were with Moonshiners, or played with Moonshiners. How did you, how about this? How about like, how did you guys meet in that should we tell yes. them? Oh, yes. 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 I mean, oh, we're God. only in beer number I one. I don't know who this is worse for, you or me. Oh, probably. <laughs> Jeff was there the second time I smoked drugs. Oh. And <laughs> I used Smoke to buy drugs. some pot. did some <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> and one Sorry, time my, my dad came to a show and goes, So, how'd you guys meet? And Jeff's like, Oh, I used to sell the drummer weed. <laughs> oh my God, you didn't know it was your dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, the charmer. <laughs> nice, nice. So, and then uh, for you, the rest of you guys, I mean, how did? Oh man, I, I think uh, I think the really cool thing about the soapboxes is it's it's always been Jeff in in different iterations of the band. I'd I'd been really lucky to join in a few times. I, I filled in on guitar and bass, and honestly, it was probably a year ago you asked me to actually join as the bass player. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would have been no, Jamie. Wait, yeah. but you introduced yourself as. Or we have two bass players. Oh, okay. <laughs> so just, yeah, I love it. That's an interesting yeah, yeah, dynamic. I, no, that's <laughs> a pick. That's a great so pick. Good. <laughs> we have two now. I did. I did start as a. Although I filled in, you've had like seven guitar players or something ridiculous. Um, a lot of really, really talented. He's basically Steely Dan. Uh, of the Whoa! <laughs> but, Damn. But, but, there you go. I, yeah. I think that says a lot for for how this group has has formed in this this formation, right? You've seen. Uh, countless iterations of groups and, and different players that he's kept these songs around and for me it's fun because I've I've been filling in we've we've had our own projects outside the soapbox cool. but I filled in with different groups watch different guitar players play these songs a certain way watch them play it a different way and it's it's really cool at the core of it all it's it's really good music um, yes I'm it lucky is he asked me at one point to join and I'm still here. I'm on. I'm on guitar now. Right. Uh, and and James is that a promotion or a demotion? <laughs> oh, oh, a demotion. <laughs> That's a loaded question. Yeah, that's that's a loaded pretty question. brutal. Yeah. I'll let you cover it. What do you? How about you cover the guitar situation? Oh, or we cover it together. Put him on the spot. It's it's a tough one because it's. Um, I think uh, I wasn't ever meant to be the guitar player of this band. We had a really great guy that was um, I... stationed in this band. His name, his name was. Uh, Jory, Jory uh, Mayer, and uh, really great guy that Jeff had, you had really formed the band around. He was a bass player, then a guitar player, and served multiple roles. And he did vocals also, didn't he? did vocals. Okay, I remember, yeah. Uh, both backing and lead, a uh, super talented guy. Um, and I was lucky to get to play with him uh, multiple times. Um, I mean, I'll just, it, it, it was a tough thing, but we, we lost Jory in uh, April uh, of this year. And that's when I took over on guitar. Um, sort of not really like we looked at each other and we're like we don't know where to go. Like this was someone who had a lot of. And this is a tough way to start this, but it's like I said, there's a we lot of stories to it, stands, right? And it's really uh, like not really my. It's more Jeff's story to tell. But um, you know, I remember sitting around and we didn't know what to do. It was uh, Jory was an excellent player and he'd really written the songs with Jeff and. Oh, okay. and it was more out of necessity. We we played a memorial show where I I played guitar. Jeff brought other guitarists back, and and uh, I it almost felt unspoken. I just kind of we just kept going, and, and the guitar was there. Oh, and, that's cool, man. That that's okay. There's a good way to to spin that. And now yourself, sir, how did you 
fall into this lovely relationship. Yeah, so I've had the pleasure of knowing these two gentlemen for since middle school. Mm. So yeah. Bowie High School, right? Bowie High School. Yeah. 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 You'll see our hands um, in the, the yeah. middle school year. Was yeah. 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 Oh, oh, small. We were uh, <laughs> three of a, a couple of five-piece bands, one called the Psycho Acoustics, another one called Calico King. Uh, so I've had. Okay, why do I recognize that? Who else was in that? Um, um, three, three of us. Three of us. Alex Goins and Tyler Shelton. Played a one to one a few okay. a few gigs. That might be uh, what it is. I, re- I reckon I'm like, oh, wait, I know uh, that name. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, but it's just that uh, played, grew up together, played together, hung out together. And uh, I've always kept in close contact with them. And mm-hmm. I got the call from Jeff saying they were looking for a bass player to fill in for some shows and right. a couple months later here I am and I'm loving it Damn, so I'm glad, right. glad to be on board and then we bring it all the way back around and this kid so uh, it's been three months ago how'd you drop into this lovely relationship yeah I was actually at that memorial show for Jory uh-huh. and I was just like damn that's real fun stuff you know and um, I had met you before I, I mean Jeff and I had met before uh, through a couple of different friends and um, yeah hadn't seen you in a while but there you were playing some music, and um, yeah, went back to the house later. And I think you and I were in the kitchen. We were like, "Dude, let's play some music together." Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do that over and over again. Right. Back and forth. Yeah. Like, yeah, no, are you uh, serious? The drunken yeah, repeat serious, where you're like, "Yeah, okay," and you say this, say this, yeah. Over. So uh, you know, then it happened. Well, where so. Whose house was it? There's a cool short little video clip that I, I stumbled upon. And I was like, that's super badass. Where you're both sitting at the piano and oh, no, everybody else house. is. Okay. Oh, I forgot that that was online. Well, that's, yeah. that's a Where public, that? a yeah, public on YouTube. That's our little photo shoot with Sarah, remember? Um, yeah, there was, there was a couple of people playing like guitar in the background <laughs> and then two doll. And it was like. Yeah. Yeah, so no, okay, it's that. it's out on the it's out on the internet. It exists. <laughs> it, was it was probably like a. Was it Father John Misty? Had it. Oh, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. real love video. And it was like forty five second uh, clip. It wasn't that long. And actually, it was just long enough. I was like, yeah, and it ends. And I went, what? I thought it was all. <laughs> yeah. So that it was did you want more? Exactly, it did. Yeah. So, and you said something earlier, and it, the band been through some different, you know, a lot of a lot of lineups. Iterate, yeah. and, and I was like, so yeah. Jeff's face. Oh, yeah, oh, you know, so the, true. Yeah, the be- the long hair, the beard. It was how long did you have that beard? Oh man, it, it got down. To I was doubting. Yeah, I mean, I, in fact, the soap boxer pic or the moonshiner picture mm-hmm. is there's. That's all three young guys with no <laughs> facial hair at all, pre pubescent. Uh, I don't know what. <laughs> and then the next time I saw you, it was like, yeah. you know, at the. Um, it was after. The Death of Moonshiners and Soapboxers had just started. Y'all had just played a set for South by uh, Little Woodrow's. And there was a okay. whole yeah. bunch of people there. And I walked in and I was like, holy crap. And, you know, me and you, every time we see each other, it's always that that good, nice moment to see each other. And um, and so you're like, yeah, my new band, you got to check it out. And then I ended up seeing you at One to One. Um, and I think that's One to One. I've seen it One to One. I've seen it One to One. I'm not really sure if I've seen you guys play anywhere else. <laughs> we play, we play, we play there a lot. <laughs> a good, nothing wrong with that. Venue. I still have been very good to us. Some of the I best still think that. Is, yes, sir, right here, man. That is the there. best sounding small room in the entire really fucking is. city. I don't care what anybody so else says. Uh, you know, Austin Chronicle, kiss my ass. That <laughs> that is the best <laughs> sounding room in the whole city. It really I is. mean, I you know. Greg has that thing set up super nice. The great people too. We had our yeah. oh yeah, really awesome. there for that reason, you know. Right, and then uh, I love the cameras. It's too far in the back to catch it, but there's a, a Load Lordship Entertainment Showcase. I mean, you know, I actually I might have seen you over at uh, perform Lucky Lounge. Yeah, play? okay. Lucky that was Lounge because Lounge. that doesn't even exist anymore. But <laughs> it's uh, yeah, it's gone. Yeah, it's gone. yeah. Okay, it's somebody it's told me the last time I was like, wait, Lucky Lounge is gone. Uh, Okay. So what did it used to be? Aces? No, 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 no. no. Aces was uh, San Jacinto and Six Street. <laughs> Making a fool out of you, That's long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all like, hey, more beers are coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ready to roll on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. All right. All right. Who's this? Wait. That's Will. Okay. Well, why don't you just do some work and then yeah, I'll take it. Right. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on down. <laughs> James, right. Here, director, can you grab that and hand it back to the bartender? Yes. Will Tompkins, 
from me and everybody here at Three Beers and a Whiskey, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, make sure if you uh, like what you saw, you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you won't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey. Thank you all very much.